Hey, what's going on? My name is Nate. I am the Director of Marketing for Cali Audio, and today is Frequently Asked Questions Friday. We are going to be answering the question, why does the IN5 have more power than the IN8? If you're not familiar, the IN5 and the IN8 are loudspeakers in the same family, our independence series of loudspeakers. They're three-way speakers with a woofer, a mid-range, and a tweeter. Um, and they are coincident. The mid-range and tweeter are coincident with each other, which makes a point lower source loudspeaker, which makes them image just fantastically. The IN5 uses a 160 watt power amp. The IN8 uses a 140 watt power amp. The IN5 is a smaller speaker. The IN8 plays louder. So why does the IN5 use more power than the IN8? The reason is this. The IN5, in order for the woofer to keep up with the mid-range and the tweeter, the IN5's woofer has to move in and out more. And so it needs more power to do that. It also creates more distortion, whereas the IN8, because it has a larger surface area in order to radiate the sound, doesn't have to move in and out quite as much. It has lower distortion. It requires less power. Now, there are ways to make a smaller speaker have less distortion, um, but they require a lot of money. Uh, and so in order for a 5-inch speaker to have a lower distortion level than a speaker like our IN8, basically just have to throw money at the woofer, throwing money at things like shorting rings, copper caps, other ways that we can get distortion lower in the woofer. We didn't want to do that with the IN5 because that would have made that a $700 or $1,000 loudspeaker. At $349, it represents an excellent value. So if you see that and you think that must be a mistake, the smaller speaker should be less powerful than the larger speaker, not in this case. The smaller speaker is indeed more powerful, and it's because of that back and forth movement that the smaller woofer needs.